What's up everybody, Kevin here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you a video of GTA 5 Online, and today for you guys, I'm gonna be bringing you the new supercar that just came out literally today, and this is gonna be the Progen em Emerus, and uh, we're gonna be taking a look at this car, we're gonna be modifying it, and as you see here, I'm in single player, because I cannot afford this car online, because it costs 2.75 million dollars, and uh, this car looks really really nice, so we'll be modifying it, and uh, so let's get into Los Santos Customs here make our way inside here if you guys are wondering why i do not have a face cam it's because and if you guys could hear my voice i'm really really sick i'm really bad cold and i didn't feel like putting on my webcam because i look like crap and my room is a whole mess so uh, i thought of just doing this video with just voice so uh, here we go so we're gonna go to armor we're gonna modify this of course the prices from single player to online there's like there's a big difference of these prices for the modifications so uh it's, it's gonna be quite expensive gonna modify all that exhaust what do we got for exhaust here uh twin box exhaust sectioned exhaust oh this one looks pretty nice i like that one too and radial exhaust oh i kind of like this one it's more it's sticking out a lot more than the other one than this one here so let's go with the, let's go with this one here. Uh, grill, we got primary race sp uh, splitter. We got carbon. We got primary sport, carbon sport, prim primary GT splitter, and then we got the carbon. Let's go with carbon, man. Let's do with the carbon. Uh, horns, we're not gonna put anything on it. Let's go with xenon lights. Okay, liveries. What have we got here? We got white stripe, black stripe, red, white, oh, double white stripe, ooh, okay. This one is single, and this one, wait, what? I cannot see the difference. Let me know if you guys see the difference, because I do not see the difference at all. But, uh, let's see, this one here. Red wood, jackal. We got the Narc, Hexagon, Camo. Mm, I think I think we're gonna keep it stock for now and then after if we find a nice color and it matches good with the livery, we're gonna put one on. But mirrors we've got carbon mirrors and secondary mirrors. So let's go with carbon. Plate. Oh, it sounds beautiful this car. Oh wow, that sounds beautiful. So we're gonna put yellow on black, respray. Now I think for this car here, it's so cool because the door has a window on the bottom. Usually you never see a car like that. Like that that right there. The bottom window. You never see that on any car. I think this is after a McLaren if I'm not mistaken. I didn't do my research before I started recording but uh, it looks kind of like a McLaren. Which looks really nice. I mean, Progen or Progen is uh, is named after the uh, the McLaren in real life. So you got the T20, of course, which is the McLaren P1. But this one kind of looks like a racing McLaren. So for color, let's go with um, let's see for a let's go to uh, classic classic red. Oh, that, that looks nice, man. Let's see orange. Oh, McLaren orange. This looks nice. Okay, let's put this one. I'm gonna put this orange here. Secondary, we've got. What does secondary change? Ah, doesn't change nothing because we put everything in carbon. But usually the secondary color will change the front bumper. That's all carbon there. That will be in whatever color we choose for the secondary. And also the mirrors would be in color also. So we're gonna put nothing there. Trim color, so we could choose the interior trim color, which we're gonna put a orange because our car is orange. So we'll put that. Look at that. That, that looks really nice. The stitching everywhere around around the dash. You got the steering wheel that's stitched, which looks pretty cool. The seats. So that, that that looks really nice. I like this car a lot. So let's make our way to the roof. Okay, so the roof. We got primary paint, secondary. Carbon, vented, primary vented, secondary, and you got carbon. Let's go with carbon. I love carbon fiber so much in this game. 
Uh, skirts. What do we got for skirts here? Nothing really that's that's overwhelming change. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, the GT. Ah, oh, this looks nice. Let's put this on. Now that's a custom job. Like literally, everything stick, sticks out. We're making this a really super car. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so carbon GT skirt. We got that on. Spoiler. The spoiler is already humongous. Why do we need a bigger spoiler for? Uh. Uh, I can't really see. Okay, I think this is the perfect angle. Got the carbon. You got sports spoiler, all the different colors with carbon, of course, and then you got the GT spoiler, street spoiler. Oh, that looks really nice. It kind of looks like the internal. Uh, actually, no, it kind of looks like the uh, the Casanero spoiler, but also the internal that attaches to the roof. Which looks pretty nice. Ah, this is it. <laughs> This is the custom Nero spoiler right here. Oh my god. Okay, I guess we could go with the car carbon aggressive spoiler. Let's go with this one here. Transmission, turbo, wheels. Wheels, I think I'm gonna go with my favorite ones. Which are these ones here. Uh, I don't mind. The car is so... Let me see if I could... Wait, there's no suspension... There's no suspension uh, modification. Wow, that's weird. Alright, so I guess there's no suspension modification. We're going to be checking after all my mod menu to see if there actually is one. But uh, let's head to... Uh, we were at wheels. Let's see for wheels. Like, the stock wheels are bigger than the high-end wheels. Which, that's why I want to keep the... Uh, I want to keep the stock wheels because they're a bit bigger. Yeah, let, let's keep the stock wheels. But these are all your options here. As you see, the they're a bit smaller than the original ones. But if this car was lowered and the wheels were a bit bigger, I would end up going with this one here. Or maybe if, if just the car was lowered, it would have been perfectly fine with these ones here. So let's head back over here and we're going to go to tires... Bulletproof tires, tires. we're gonna put smoke. I guess we could put black or you know what? Let's put orange. Then windows. Oh, look at that. You can literally go all black with this. That kind of looks nice with you see the driver. I think this is probably one of the first cars you ever see with a driver. Like the whole car. Which looks really awesome. You can see the whole driver just through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Which looks pretty cool, but I think let's go with uh, let's go a limo because you can still see a bit Let's go with limo and this is it for the customization So now we're gonna be checking out the speed before that we're gonna check out <clears throat> Sorry guys, we're gonna be checking out the uh, the suspension to see if there actually is one Let's head over here and Let's go to Suspension. See, I cannot, I cannot add it on for some reason. I cannot put suspension. So there's no suspension for this car here, which kind of sucks. But hey, I guess, uh, I guess it doesn't want to let us go all the way down. But other than that, there's nothing else in uh, this over here. So let's open the doors. Put the doors open like that. For some reason, the I guess the hood or the the back does not open. Because obviously the spoiler is attached to it, so it won't it won't open, I guess. But uh, so this is with the doors open. Let's close the doors and uh, let's go over here. We are going to put. Where is? Hold on, let me find. I need to find the speedometer. Uh, where is it at? I remember seeing it here somewhere. I know it was here. That's oh, an options. Here we go. Speedometer. So let's put let's put miles per hour. So you guys will see in the top right hand corner. That is a miles per hour. So let's head to the military. Actually, no. Let's go to the airport. And we're gonna test out the speed of this car. 
Let's go here. Already it's pretty fast. But I don't think it's as fast as the uh, as a Thrax. So let's make our way here and we're gonna start. Oh god, there's a plane right there, really. Alright, here we go. We're ready at a hundred miles per hour. We're at 120. Okay, I think it hit 125. So let's head back over here. And let's try this again. Here we go. We're not gonna stop. We're gonna crash into the fence. Twenty twenty one. I think one twenty one was the max. Oh my god, we just flew off. Oh my god. Alright, so let's head back over here. And we are going to put on kilometers per hour. Let's go here. Actually, let's keep on both. So one is gonna be in the top and one is gonna be in the bottom right hand corner. So miles per hour is on top and kilometers per hour is in the bottom. Here in Canada we use kilometers so I'm very familiar with kilometers. So uh, let's fix up the vehicle first. Vehicle God mode on. Alright, here we go. We're at one, 180 miles per, uh, kilometers per hour. I think I could reach 200 kilometers. 196. 197. 198. 199. 199. We did not see 200. Oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. We have to hit 200. We're gonna start all the way from back over here. Let's try this again. Here we go. We're already at 180. One ninety five, one ninety seven, one ninety eight. I think I saw. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this car. I like it. It's it's pretty fast. It's not as fast as the um, as the Bugatti. Um, actually, as a thrash. The Thrax, I, I guess it's called. With the Bugatti Devo. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty cool car. I really, really do enjoy it. But uh, is it worth $2.75 million in GTA 5 Online? I don't know. I think there's a lot more cars that are in below this price range that are a lot faster than this. But overall, there's not that many modifications to this car. As you saw in the beginning. I do not think it's worth 2.7 million dollars. I think I should like this car should be 1.5 million the max like max 1.5 million Like the Bugatti Chiron. I mean uh, the Thrax or the Bugatti Devo. I think it was 2 point Or 2.3 million dollars or something like that. I'm not exactly sure but uh, that car is amazing amazingly fast But overall, it's a pretty cool car. I really do like it. I wish that the suspension you could lower it a bit more there's no suspension modification and also I wanted to see more modifications to the body But uh, other than that, it's a pretty cool car So if you guys did watch and enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button subscribe if you're new Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day and streams will be back on Saturday, I'll be streaming GTA San Andreas. So that's gonna be returning and uh, thank you all for the support I appreciate it. Hope you guys have an awesome day and peace out